Here I am in ChatGPT, and I am subscribed to Plus, although these will work in the free account as well. For our first example under code, let's ask ChatGPT to generate a loop for my theme. This is for the product post type, and I want a H1 that contains the title, a H2 that has a custom post meta, and finally, I want the content underneath. So let's see what code we get back. Perfect. I've got exactly what I need to copy and paste this into my theme and get cracking. Now, I would say that everything that you do within ChatGPT, you need to do on a basis of your own knowledge. Don't just blindly copy and paste stuff out of here and assume it's going to work for two reasons. Number one, ChatGPT will confidently give you answers that are sometimes wrong. Secondly, ChatGPT may give you answers that aren't necessarily right. They work, but they might not be the most efficient. So you really do need to have some grounded experience and expertise in good development practice. In our next example, we're just going to simply ask ChatGPT how to sanitize text using WordPress functions. This is a great way of us learning how it works and how we can use it. We can then take this and roll this into our code. Here's an example of a really basic prompt where I just want some information on enqueuing the color picker. Fantastic. It gives me what I would need. And if I was to ask for some further information, yep, um, what should I include in the JS? And this goes on further to explain what could be included in that JS file. In this example, let's ask ChatGPT how we can list the most recent products in WooCommerce in an unordered list with the product name and price. This is if we were doing theme development. I love how it gives us all of the extra information about what it's doing, but we can see here we have our query. We're saying we're pulling uh, latest 10 posts that can be changed. We can see the title and we can also see that we are grabbing that regular price. For further help, I could ask ChatGPT to comment it so that I know what's going on. Let's try that. And here you go. We know exactly what's happening here, pretty much line per line, which is fantastic. It's also really useful to use this if you've done some of your own work Perhaps you've neglected to comment your own code and you can actually feed your code into ChatGPT, ask it to work out what's going on and to help you with those comments. You can then go and check those comments and adjust as necessary.